Yes, keep doing the ruqya. It doesn't have to change or the situation to be fixed right away. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam... Sorry, Sheikh, it's been over 20 years now. I've been having the same issues every day. 20 years, is it some sort of sickness or what is it? No, I think it's Ayn and Hasid. I feel like uh, I don't want to see people and people don't want to see me. Okay. And, you know, I have... S- in my chest and stuff like that. Sister Umu Abdullah, with my due respect, you know, we as human beings and many Muslims, whenever we are encountering any difficulty, somehow people find it a lot easier to assume it's sorcery or it's a magical spell or it could be ayin. But for 20 years, I need to check with a medical doctor. I need to treat it as a clinical case. Ruqya is very beneficial under any circumstances. But also the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said, Tadawa ibad Allah, O servants of Allah, seek the treatment and the remedy. Indeed, Allah did not create any disease, but he has created for it the proper treatment. So seek the treatment, and that is my advice to you. Ruqya, you continue with your Ruqya. But also I need to, to look at it uh, from a clinical perspective. May Allah make it easy for you, Sister Umm Abdullah, alleviate your suffering and pain and keep you safe. Yesterday, I was visiting a patient and she had difficulty breathing and she was supposed to be hospitalized. And I asked her to uh, just recite the ruqya on herself. And I taught her, collect your palms, recite, and low trice in your hand. And in Wallahi, it was only a matter of maybe a couple hours. And she have improved. There was no need to be hospitalized. Alhamdulillah wa shukrillah. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, يُسْتَجَابُ لِأَحَدِكُمْ مَا لَمْ يَعْجَلْ So, Ruqya is a supplication. It's a prayer. And the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, your supplication will be accepted so long as you do not rush. They said, and what does it mean that rushing in the case of making dua or praying? They say that person would say, yeah, I've been making dua and no response, and it's in vain. So he ceases making dua. And uh, for him, if he were to continue, it would have become better because Allah would answer whenever he wants to based on his, on his wisdom. But when the person says it's in vain, I'm not going to make dua anymore. Okay, that is your call. Dua or the prayer is the greatest act of worship and the topmost port of worship anyway. So besides fulfilling your need and accepting your prayer, it is the greatest act of worship.